Hey, boys and girls. Welcome to reading today. It's Miss Smith. I am so excited because today we are going to get to start a new book called Waiting for the Biblioboro. This is one of my favorite books, and I'm so excited to share it with you today. Now, you will notice that Miss Spears reads from this book in the video, and sadly, we are not able to give everyone a book just yet. We're working on trying to get some different materials to send home with you, some things to use for math and some things to use for reading. But because there are so many of you, we're having to order new and we're just waiting on it. And so until then, we're gonna have to be flexible. That means we're just gonna have to do the best that we can. So today I want you to watch Mrs. Spears' video and she's gonna talk to you about what you're gonna be doing in your journal today because today you're going to be noticing and wondering. And you remember, we've already done this with Tomas and the library lady. And a lot of you realize it was kind of hard to notice and wonder when you could not see the pictures of the story. So today I wanna to try something a little different. I want you to watch Mrs. Spears until she gets to 7.31 on the minutes. You will notice at the bottom left part of the screen when you're watching her video that it's counting up and it's showing you how many minutes. Some of you might have already seen that. When she gets to seven minutes and 31 seconds and she's about to start reading, then I want you to press the pause button. Remember that's the two little lines. Press that pause button and then you can come back to your slides and you will go to the next slide here to be able to listen to the book and see the pictures. So you will click on the play button, you will watch it, and you will do your notice and wonder, just like you talked about with Miss Spears, in your journal. Now it's important for your teacher that when you are noticing and wondering, you can write the word notice above your notice. Something, remember notice means something that you see or hear something that stands out to you, something that you say, I think that might be important. So you can write or draw what you notice and you might label that with the word notice or you could just write an N for notice. Then you also are going to record a wonder and you've been talking about with Miss Spears that there are these question words that you need to use when you are wondering something. So make sure you write a question word when you're wondering, remember, you're not just telling something, you're writing a question, something that you say, hmm, I wonder, and remember those question words that you're going to be going over with Miss Spears. You could label your wonder with the word wonder and then wonder on your page, or you could write just a W to label it. That way, on the next slide, when you put the image of your work, just like you've been doing, that your teacher will know which one is a notice and which one is your wonder. Make sure that when you are doing your journal and you are showing the image to your teacher, zoom in really close with your journal so that she can see. Now, if you need to do two pictures, you need to put a notice on one part of the slide and the wonder on the other, that's okay. That way she's able to see both of your parts of your work, your notice and your wonder. You will notice I have a little note right here on this slide. After you finish the book, I want you to make sure, remember you just pause Mrs. Spears video. So you can go back to the NSYNC page where your video is, where Mrs. Spears is. Remember we have these tabs at the top of our screen. You can click on wherever you see your Great Minds video and then you can go back to that. And then if you need your parents help, they might can help you. But all you're gonna do is drag that little dot that's at the bottom of the video and fast forward until you see the numbers 15 minutes and 44 seconds. And that's when Miss Spears finishes the book. Well, then she has some other things that she's gonna tell you about and you're gonna hear her wrap up the lesson and finish it up. And she's going to give you some examples of some things you noticed and some things she wondered. And so some of you might want to hear that to see if maybe you had the same things or maybe you're still having trouble 
coming up with an idea of something you notice or wonder so she can help you with that. So make sure that you go back and watch the end of her lesson as well. And then don't forget to post your work on the last slide. I'm so excited for you to read this book today. It's one of my very favorites, and I think it's going to be one of yours too. Waiting for the Biblio Burrow. Bye, guys. Have fun today.